Dr. Mike, how to remember all the high yield nephrotic versus nephritic syndromes. I'm struggling with remembering all those concepts. Can you explain it very clear and simple? Again, it's a lengthy seminar. You just have to know the high yield conditions. It takes enough practice through questions like membranous glomerular nephropathy, nephrotic, renal amyloidosis, nephrotic, diabetic glomerular sclerosis, nephrotic, minimal change disease, nephrotic, focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, nephrotic, PSGN, nephritic. IJ nephropathy, nephritic, Alport syndrome, nephritic, membranal proliferative glomerulonephritis, nephritic, diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis, nephritic. So you just have to have like enough experience with questions. That's kind of how you have to do it. Memorizing whether a renal condition has blood in the urine or not is exceedingly high yield for you assimilate. That's like a very important thing you should do is like know which conditions have blood and which don't. Like especially for peds. If you get like an eight-year-old and there's no blood in the urine, it's not PSGN, it's not IGA nephropathy, right?